Today's programme and the Scientists in Sport programme is uh, themed around the Olympics and sport, initially because of the partnership that we have with King's to deliver the anti-doping services for the London 2012 Olympic and Paralympic Games. And that theme now has run into our school's outreach programme to engage children and get their interest in science. My involvement is through the fact that I work with an organisation called the Youth Sport Trust, which is supporting young people in sport. Obviously young people are getting very, very geared up for 2012 now, so my involvement is as a facilitator here today. I think the event is doing something really, really important, bringing the prestige of King's College London with GlaxoSmithKline and managing to use that to motivate people in this fantastic learning environment. It's really difficult for teachers to get access to the kind of equipment and facilities they've got here at King's. And to bring that to the children so they can genuinely see what's going on is a very, very valuable experience for them. The sorts of activities that they've done today have been experiencing a lecture with some of the professors here at King's and then they've been able to do much more interactive workshops, particularly the spot test workshop which has been done in the laboratory to look at doping and then they've been able to explore the kind of moral questions around anti-doping in a doping debate and also look at some of the other areas of uh, sports science like the physiotherapy workshop as well. We're actually helping to inform um, prospective scientists of the future about what an exciting career they're going to have. This event today is about the science behind helping to catch drug cheats. The key take-home messages that we hope the students will get from today is how important science is to society and the example given is actually science associated with sport. I'm actually a scientist when I'm not um, in sport. I'm a pharmacist by trade. I'm also a representative for the UK anti-doping so there's a lot of things here today that culminate together to make it a great day for me to be here and I love the idea that I can come here and say well actually everything that you've been told about in your lectures today and, and everything you've seen does actually happen to us as athletes. I've been blown away really by the, the questions and the intelligence of the questions that those children have put forward and I think they've actually stumped a couple of our speakers today so, um, so I hope that that means that they've really engaged. The kids ask loads of good questions, some of them are actually very probing and some very difficult to answer. So I was actually very surprised by how insightful they were about some of the areas that we covered. I hope that they'll be inspired by University as Great as Kings and, and want to think, really think seriously about university education for themselves. The whole objective of this programme is to inspire children and young people into science careers and to pursue their science studies so that they can end up at universities such as Kings and potentially end up working for, for science-based organisations like GSK. We hope they will be enthused about what science can do, because we'd like to see some of these students choose to do science at university because we find ourselves it's a very exciting career and we would like to pass that excitement on to them. I think the more that companies like GlaxoSmithKline and King's College actually reach out to young people, they make it accessible to young people, they see people working in the industry, they see that they're just normal human beings and they can do it as well. And having been in a building like this, having talked to staff from GlaxoSmithKline, they genuinely can feel it's accessible and achievable. I really hope that today will inspire uh, some of the children to have careers in science. I myself didn't actually, when I was at school, have a desire to go into science. It was actually through sport that I became interested in the physiology of the human body and have ended up having a career uh, in science uh, and still in skeletal muscle to this day.